Let's look in this video at screen share overlays. And uh, hopefully you watch those other videos where we've got image overlays and camera overlays. And really with the combination with this with screen shares, I think these will be the main ones that you're going to be using day in, day out. And we really want to be able to master. There are other ones that we'll come on to next, countdowns, things like this that are more obscure and you probably might not get even get to use these. But yeah, let's get into this one. I think you're going to really enjoy this. So it's screen share overlay. Now, again, we're going to create a new scene every time we do this. So if I were to do a new scene, uh, I've got my Chrome browser open down here with the Ecamm website playing. If I were normally, the default way for doing a screen share, and I'm just saving that scene to say that, would be to come up here and click and share my screen. And then I select, what do I want to share? Chrome, Ecamm Live. I'm in, I can do this. This was the, very much the old way of doing it. And uh, I could click here to do a picture in picture. I can right click and I can turn this into, say a square, pop it up in the corner. And this is how I would be doing my screen share presentation. Let me show you what you can do now. We're gonna create a new scene and we'll call this screen share two. And in this one, we are going to start with the change of the source to be blank. Now, you probably will have a black screen like this. Down in this overlays, show in background. I'm gonna show you there in another video how you can just drop something in. We just went and found, this is like a PowerPoint background. I think we Googled, got a royalty free image, brought it in here and it just creates a nice background for us. And this will always show up when we do source and select blank, this will show up as a background. So we want to bring in a screen share overlay. I'm gonna bring it in here first in the same way you just saw it asks me, what do you want to select? We're going with Chrome, with Ecamm. And uh, so now I'm working with this as an overlay in the same way that we did with camera overlays. So we've selected what it is, we can select custom. We can have a transition if we want to fly in when the scene opens and um, we can put a border on this. We can round off those edges if we want to. We can adjust the radius of those edges. And now we can pop this up here and I just think that is a nicer way to do a screen share. We're not on camera yet. Somebody's asking me. I click down here and I do a camera overlay and I pop myself on. And again, in the same way, I'm going to select custom and um, we've got the same background or the same um, framing to this. But look, I can just do this. I could do it however I wanted. It should snap. There it is at halfway. So I could do something like this and I'm sharing the screen at the side of me and I'm on camera. Now we've got a background inside here at the minute. There are two options with this screen share overlay. I can click green screen key, which notice how that's just inside that frame got rid of the background that was in there. Probably if you were using this, I would take off that border. So you are just seeing it's green screening out in effect. It's chopping out the background. So all you're seeing is the window that you're sharing. I don't tend to use this one as much. I do like to have these borders on. And for me, what I like to do, what I don't want to see is my tabs at the top and um, all of this stuff going on here and my favorites. So what I can do is hit the option key first and then go to one of the edges and pull it down and look how nice that is at bringing in or I can grab a corner. Whoop, don't know what happened then. And uh, how much nicer is that that I can actually, I've just cropped out all the stuff that I don't want you to see on the presentation and uh, I can reposition myself, something like that. Uh, if I find that I'm in the background, we can right click on this or this on any of these overlays and say bring to front or send to back. So that just sorts out that order. The other way of doing it is in the overlays tab over here is that I can just drag to the top and what's at the top is going to be nearer to the front. So really nice way of doing this. I think what a step up from doing a screen share like this. I can just jump across and do something like this or whatever shape or format you want to do that. Now, on my desktop, I've also got open a keynote presentation. 
just opened it up. It's still very much, I've got all my tabs down the side and along the top. But now you've seen how I can do this, what I can do is let's clone this one so we don't lose it. And we'll call this my PowerPoint. I always call it PowerPoint, even though it's Keynote. And I can select on here, instead of Chrome, I'm going to select Keynote. And it has still carried across the cropping from the last one. So I need to crop in tighter on this and I need to crop that edge. And uh, there we go. So again, this is a really nice way for me to bring in a presentation. And because we've cropped out the border down the side of this, to be honest, there's another way of doing it. And when we get to the video on sharing a presentation, I'll show you a, an even better way of doing it. But quite simply, to demonstrate here, with the fact that we can crop in these edges and things, I think that is a really nice way to share a presentation by using this screen share overlay feature. Now, we can have a bit of a play with this. And again, I'm going to create a new scene and doesn't really matter whether this is a video background or a blank one. We used before this image in the background. Drop it in here. I showed you this on the image overlays video. If you missed that, jump back and watch it. But here's a monitor that we've got at the side and um, we could do exactly the same thing here as what we did with putting ourselves in there in a camera. And I can share my presentation so I could lose off these round edges. I can go custom on here and I can say my keynote presentation, still do the same thing and option to grab and cut off the edges and the bits that I don't want people to see. But now I've just got this presentation and I can pop it up here. And I think that's pretty cool. So I could run through this in exactly the same way with my interactive slideshow down below and feed that in. Now, where this really gets fun is when we get to green screen and I can stand myself at the side of it as a green screen. For now, you could just pop yourself in here as a camera overlay. Again, you have um, seen all the ways we can do this. Uh, pop it in here and um, yeah, whether or not you want to have a border on that. But yeah, I could feature myself on here and still um, show that I'm running you through this presentation. Uh, I think that looks pretty cool. You know, you can take it back to this one here if you want and then sort of pretend you're turning the thing on. You could do the same with that phone background. So these are different ways that we're playing with screen share overlays. Really powerful how you can get rid of that background. You can put borders around it, you can trim into it, you can position it wherever you want on the screen. Yeah, I just think it's a lovely way to work. It's what I use when I bring my comments on screen. We'll cover that in another video. But I think kind of between these few that we've got, we've got our text overlays that we've looked at, we've got our image overlays and these uh, screen share overlays, really powerful. Uh, ways for us just to bring this in and encourage you to create a new scene every time you do this. Don't go getting into a pickle and trying to find it again. You know, how much easier is that for me to just be able to jump through these now and uh, find those different scenes and things that we've made rather than needing to rebuild it every time because we just kept going over the top of the same one. So screen share overlays along with image overlays and camera overlays really powerful. There's so many options, so many ways you can use this, create a new scene every time you do it, and um, you're going to have a blast with this. Now, if you didn't watch those other overlay videos, uh, we've got a playlist full of them. So go and have a look over there. And uh, I'm going to reckon that the next video we jump onto is countdown overlays. There are some cool ways that you can be using this. So let's go over now and I'll show you that one.